Centre is such a convoluted story. It's got a lot to do with Pennsylvania politics and how money really controls politics. It has a lot to do with influence peddling, I'm sure. I moved to Centralia in 1971, and I realized that there wasn't any other place I wanted to be. This was my town. Centralia is supposedly the sixth most visited tourist attraction in the state. It's really interesting. It's one of the most famous natural disaster sites in the world. Years ago, when I was a kid, I'd stand at the same very place and it's see a whole town down below you here. A town which at one time had close to 3,000 residents. Where all these trees are, that was a whole block of homes and backyards. And hard to believe now. What's your count on how many people are still living here? About 10 altogether. Five, five in the township, five in the borough. Did it seem like the community never existed? And that's not the case. This was a thriving, vibrant community at one time. We had bought our home and we were ready to stay. So it's sad, it was a life that never really happened. We were forced into a voluntary relocation because we had no choice because of the dangers. I was born and raised in Burnsville. When we uh, had to relocate, uh, my home going down. Nothing but memories, yep. <laughs> you can kind of tell where the last homes were to come down. In 1995, the, the post office closed up, the bank closed up, most of the churches were gone. It got to the point where it was just isolated families here and there. You know, the people in Centralia say, we'd like to stay. There would have been no staying. They just didn't want to go. They were attached to that community. The only option they felt at that time, feasible funding option, was to relocate the, the citizens. There's only a few reasons that the state can use to declare them in a domain. The only thing that came anywhere close was they were concerned about the health and safety of the people. If you really want to make this place safe, you get everybody out of there. It's voluntary eminent domain. The term was an oxymoron, and it was nothing but unadulterated bull, and I didn't buy it. The first wave of houses, the people got pennies for their houses. A contractor told me he thought it probably took about eight months to build these houses in the old days, but it took less than an hour to tear them down, and then only the memories will remain. 98% of the borough or more had decided to, to pick up and move on. Obviously what was going on here was to get rid of the borough. You can't come back to your hometown if there's no hometown to come back to. So we've been out of town a long time, but we've always missed, always missed. Nobody forgets about this town. Everybody knows it. It's on the map. It's kind of like a man without a country. I don't have a hometown anymore. <laughs>